This is Tony Canuli, the marketing director and show host for the Slight Edge Show on HBRN Positive Powered Radio. I'm here in Orlando today. It's a beautiful day at a beautiful five-star resort, Westgate Resorts, hanging out with an old friend of mine of over 20 years, Mr. Gregory Mascari. Gregory is a network marketing professional. He's been in the industry for over 25 years, and he's done phenomenally well. As a matter of fact, he, uh, you'll get a chance to hear some of his story here. But Gregory, is, he's traveled the world in the industry, and that's what he's doing here today with his beautiful wife. I asked him if he'd shoot a few minutes on, uh, on HBRN for our listeners. And Gregory, I appreciate you spending some time with us today. Tony, it's so good to see you. It's uh, so good to be here with you in Orlando. That's right. And we meet in the one of the most wonderful places. That's absolutely <laughs> right. And I tell you, I appreciate you sharing just a few minutes. I know we're going to have you on for your full story and sharing some of your tidbits. I mean, you, you've had hundreds of thousands. You, you've had organizations as big as some medium-sized cities. <laughs> I mean, true. let's face it. It's true. You know, and you've, I know you've been very blessed to make yeah. millions and millions in your career, and mm -hmm. you're still out there enjoying the lifestyle of that. You love to travel. But why don't you share with everybody your story, just a little bit about how you get into the industry, and you know, and then maybe share a little bit about what you think of HBRN and what we're doing. Certainly, if you have to, Tony. And you know, I come from a conventional business background, owned a small business, um, you know, or should I say was owned by my own small business, like many small business owners were and still are. And I accidentally found network marketing. A good friend of mine was working part-time in a network marketing company and making more money part-time than I had made in 15 years of small business ownership. I, as fate would have it, I sold the, my manufacturing business. Uh, for the deal it sounded too good to be true, turned out to be so. Ended up going from retirement to requirement. Network marketing was the only thing I could afford to do. God kind of put it at my doorstep. And, you know, I think my key to success in the business, Tony, was uh, the old adage, failure was not an option. It was kind of like Apollo 13. Yeah. I had to make it work because, you know, on the motivational ladder, malnutrition's way up there, especially when it's your kids. <laughs> That's, right. Right? That's right. So, like many people, most people will join a network marketing company you know, they go out the back door as easy as they come in the front door. And for me, there was, I couldn't do that. I had to make it work. So the other adage uh, that I lean heavily upon, my key to success is failing enough to win. I just kept keeping on. I kept on doing it until I figured it out. And once I figured it out, I'm now proudly, certifiably unemployable. <laughs> I love my home base business. You know, a short commute. I love the dress code. That's right. <laughs> and the lifestyle it provides for me and my family. Well, one of the things you've always taught me was, you know, once, once network marketing gets into you... There's no known cure. There's no known cure. <laughs> it's true. It's true. And you're, you're right. And sort of five million too. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, the, the, the lifestyle has been amazing. And I know you're fairly newlywed. You got married on just a few short years ago. Seven years ago. That's right. And, <laughs> and you, you shared with me something that was so cool. You uh, take a vacation. Every 90 days. We made that agreement when we got married. We're going to go on a honeymoon quarterly. And we've been pretty good about that. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. I mean, you are again. That's right. We're on a honeymoon. That's right. I mean, every time I talk to I you. Mean, we tell people that. They go, oh, how long have you been married? Oh, seven years. That's right. You've been in Hawaii. You've been, I mean, every time yeah. I talk to you, you're traveling somewhere in the yeah. world. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But, you know, network marketing, if it wasn't for that, would that have been possible? You know, for 15 years, I was tied to... Uh, my own business. I wasn't tied to a job because I was a business owner, but I was probably more shackled than the people that worked for me. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, I worked, you know, seven days a week many times, and many times there was just enough money for my employees, not much left for me. Yeah. So, you know, I didn't get rich. I, I provided a, an okay living for my family, but it didn't provide really the lifestyle that I dreamed about. Yep. And network marketing has far exceeded my dreams and expectations for me. and as you say, hundreds and thousands of other people that I've had a chance to impact and you know share this blessed profession of okay. network marketing. With. Now you're an amazing systems guy. You've created tremendous training systems and programs and personal development programs for companies in the industry. You've been mm -hmm. corporate. You've been distributor. You really get this from a picture of thirty thousand mile view. is pretty high here. I mean, in fact, you're up there by the where Apollo went, right? <laughs> Sometimes Mars. I feel like it. You know, and I know you you're really you know big in personal development and serving leadership. Mm -hmm. But if you were to share with the HBRN listeners just a few things that made all the difference in your career, that could maybe save them some time. Yeah. You know, from your experience, what would, what would those things be? What would your well, I'll tell you, you know, um, real quickly, you know, my first year I came in and I probably was a little bit too, uh, too confident myself <laughs> and I tried to recreate the wheel and do it my own way. 
You mean you weren't teachable? Uh, I probably wasn't very teachable. Because I figured, I w I've owned a small business and I can do this. It looks so simple. It was simpler than the businesses I own. Sure. So, I won't say I failed miserably my first year, but it was close. Okay? <laughs> but by my second year, I'd eaten enough humble pie to develop a taste for it. Yeah. And I started mentoring under people that were successful in the business. It made all the difference in the world. By the end of my third year, I was making more a month than I ever made a year in small business ownership. So I guess the couple things I'd say to people that are looking at this profession is, number one, you know, get some mentorship. Read the books. Listen to the home business, you know, radio network. It's, uh, you have access to some of the most brilliant minds in our profession on your smartphone, you know, on your computer. Your mobile mentor. Your, your mobile mentor. Isn't that I awesome? love that. I love that. Tune into your mobile mentor. And the other thing I'd say is, in addition to learning the nature of the business that we're in, because this is a profession, is make a decision you're willing to do what it takes. Make a decision to do what it takes, because that was my key to success. As I said earlier, failure wasn't an option. I made a decision, I'm going to figure this out, because I saw other people making money that had less business background experience than me, and I figured if they could do it, I could do it. And by God's grace, after a couple of years, I did crack the code, and over the last 23 years, I've been in the business 25 years, and the uh, last 23 years, never earned less than a six-figure income, and sometimes seven. Wow. So, <laughs> it's been really yeah, good to meet my family. <laughs> yeah. This is a good time to be in Florida. I know. I wish we could pan around to see yeah. this resort here. It's oh, it, it, freaking believable. It, it's, it's wonderful. It's so much fun. <laughs> I'm looking forward to having you on the show, having a full interview oh, with you my so pleasure, people Tony. can hear you on the Slight Edge Zone. Yay. This is Tony Canuli, Marketing Director and host of the Slight Edge Zone on HBRN Positive Power and Radio with my good friend and full-time networker, Mr. Gregory Muscari. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Tony. <laughs>